Hello, nice to see you again in today's video. In this video, I will show you how to make a powerful rotary generator from a water purifier water pump motor. My water purifier pump motor is broken. Now I will use a screwdriver to remove the pump part on that motor. This pump has a broken water pump, but the motor is still working fine. So I will take advantage of the engine part to convert it into a generator. Next, I'll lengthen the motor shaft by welding a 40 mm long nut to it. To connect the nut to the shaft, I used a stick welder. Next, I used a bicycle gear pulley to weld onto the nut. We still use stick welders for permanent welding. Next, I will make a stand for the machine from sturdy iron bars. This base will have four legs and one base plate, so I will use a stick welder to weld these four legs to the base. Please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. Next, I use two large bearings to make the crankshaft. I will weld these two bearings to the newly created base plate. Next, I use 21 mm steel tube, 200 mm long to make the shaft. This shaft tube we will thread into two large bearings. Continue welding the shaft to the large bearing. Next step, I will use a large gear pulley to weld to the shaft. I use a welder to weld, but will weld about 40 millimeters from the shaft end. Next, I will create a crank for the machine. That crank I will weld to the end of the shaft. Next, I used a bicycle chain to connect the crank and the motor. I will thread the chain through the two pulleys and pull tight. Then we will use screws to fix the motor to the base. Use at least two screws to secure the motor to the base. I use a voltage meter to check the voltage of the motor when it rotates. First connect the motor output to the two pins of the meter. Then I will use my hand to turn the shaft. This will pull the motor to turn and the meter will measure the current that the motor is generating. Now I will use one DAC connection that will connect to the output of the generator motor. After connecting, we use electrical tape to wrap the connection tightly to prevent electric leakage. Now we can use this machine to generate electricity for electrical devices.
I will be using this machine to light a 220 volt bulb. However, I will have to use a step up circuit. Connect the bulb to the output of the booster circuit, the input of the booster circuit. I will connect to the generator. When you turn the handle, the light bulb immediately lights up. So cool! This machine will be essential for those who travel or go camping. I will be using the generator to charge the battery for now. I will check the battery capacity again. The battery capacity is still very low. The clock shows 3.7 volts. I will use a two-clamp connector to connect the generator to the battery. I started spinning the machine to charge the battery. Be careful, spin it evenly. After 15 spins to charge the battery, I will check the battery capacity. I continued to use the meter to measure the battery. So amazing, I didn't expect such a simple machine, but it has such great uses. Now we will no longer have to worry about power outages. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.